Me and Jenna are here today to answer some, uh, you know, general uh, relationship, uh, love, <laughs> uh, um, that kind of uh, questions. We've got, where do guys usually <laughs> take girls if they don't have a car? You can walk from your house to the park. Uh, or just a nice walk around the block. Set up like a nice like picnic. Fun things to do like at the house. Oh, yeah. It's fine. Get creative because girls will like that. Straight from a girl herself. Okay, so what kind of kissing <laughs> is usually best for middle school? I would say probably lips is fine. It would be a little awkward for me to witness middle schoolers French oh, kissing. That it happens though, and but the thing is, if that happens, just don't be PDA about it. That's okay, where yeah. it gets awkward. Oh yeah, it That's could where happen. It gets I just yeah, PDA. It's all about the PDA and not doing it. People get very uncomfortable when they see fetuses making out. It's really fine. To put it to put it lightly, yes. <laughs> do what you do alone, but when you're in public, don't don't be French kissing or more. One suggestion was just a kiss on the cheek. I think it, it I, I'd be okay if it was a little more than that. Like I said, I'm fine <laughs> with lip kisses. Seeing lip kisses from from middle school. <laughs> in your own opinion, is middle school too young for dating? It depends on the scale of dating. It depends also how you define dating. <clears throat> Hanging out with your significant other? No, I think it's fine to do that in middle school. You'll be able to figure out what you don't like. Like, oh, that girl Kelly, she doesn't like these kind of movies, so I'm not into <laughs> girls that like these kind of movies. My question is, though, you would discriminate somebody based on the types of movies they like? Does that define a person? Not discriminate. I, I meant, like, like, I wouldn't want to date a girl that, like, refuses to at least give them kind of movies and and things that I like uh, a chance. That makes sense. That makes, that makes yeah. more sense. See, that's that's better. I, mean. well, I didn't, that's I didn't mean sense. like I hate because any I, and all You're girls. saying like every girl who hates, okay, what movie? Let's throw it. Every girl who hates Kick-Ass. <laughs> this guy. That, okay, that's not <laughs> what I was you. saying. That's Sorry not about what it. I was saying. I, was, I just meant <laughs> if she's not willing to give them a chance and I don't hate any girl that doesn't like like kick ass. That's like, what, I don't see, that's what it sounded like. Okay, well, but, it, okay. to clarify, <laughs> that's not what I meant. All right, so Jenna, <laughs> scenario. Scenario. You find out a guy likes you, and how should he go about letting you know? Should he go about letting you know? Yes, you should, but I think you should just be, like, genuinely, like, interested, and I don't know, it's hard to, like... It depends on, like, what style you're going for to, like, tell her. But if you hear that she likes you, too, like, take that risk and, like, just tell her. Just throw it out there. Because you never know. You never know until you take that chance. But as far as, like, starting a conversation, talk about, like, something that, like, you know that you guys both like, maybe. Or, like, you know that something she likes. Like, you definitely don't want to start one of about something that you know she doesn't like. <clears throat> so, like, if I walked up to Jenna and said, oh, Jenna... There's an awesome new iCarly on last night, and let me tell you all about it. That wouldn't go over too well, because Jenna is not into iCarly. So, it would be a wasted conversation <laughs> on her. He still tells me about iCarly all the time. It's really uh, fun. Is it acceptable for a girl to ask a guy out? A girl to ask a guy out. I was going to say, I didn't, I didn't want like a girl to be like, oh, if he hasn't asked me out, he doesn't like me. Mm -hmm. So I don't want the girl to, like, feel like if a guy doesn't ask you out that he doesn't like you. Mm -hmm. Because it could just be he likes you and he's nervous that you don't like him. I, th I think both parties could get nervous. And no one really knows how to react. No one knows what to do. It's just like a standoff. It's like a Mexican standoff. A Mexican. And so, like, it essentially just comes down to... Whoever has the balls to pull the gun and, like, start the action, you know? Do you agree? Yeah, but I I'm, I guess I'm just old-fashioned and rather would have the guy. I mean, yeah, that. that's, that's true. Because, like, yeah, like, all about women empowerment, but I think that, I don't know, I just think it's, like, a guy's, like, job to do that. Yeah. I don't know, but it's, times are changing, like... It doesn't have to be that way. Don't if you're a girl and like wanting to ask a guy out, don't feel like you can't. You know? Yeah. Because maybe you're the kind of girl like Helga from Hey Arnold who just like 
picks on him, beats him up, stuff like that. This girl sh- shoves my face in my peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Like, why? Why would I want to ask her out? If you're if you're a Helga Pataki, I would say, I would say ask him out because he's not gonna know how you're feeling. He's gonna think that you're just a bully, school bully. It all depends on how like how ballsy you are of a girl. <laughs> exactly. See, so it's it essentially comes down to, in your relationship, who's going to have the balls? Like, if you're like Jenna, I would I would ask the guy out because. But I really like a guy, and I think he may like me back, but I can't tell. So how do I tell if he likes me back? Also, how do I get him to really notice me and maybe ask me out? Like, see if he's into any kind of like extracurricular activities that you may also be into, and then join them, and then that'll just cause like a common uh common ground for you guys to talk yeah about you'll, you guys will have like a common area you'll have stuff to talk about you'll be able to hang out when you're uh stage crewing it up um, everyone's gonna do this. I, I mean it doesn't have to be stage crew I, I just said that for the sake of that's what i did i did tennis too so maybe you're like an athletic guy like myself um <laughs> and uh so yeah, see, see, just see if you share any common ground. You could be thinking that, oh my god, like this guy is my dream guy. For this example, I'm gonna say he's in the archery club, so he likes to fire bow and arrows. Uh, so you join the archery club, you fire on this at the same target next to him. You both are getting bull's eyes. So you're talking to him, and all of a sudden you find out he's fascinated with uh collecting butterflies when you're more of like Sensitive. a you're nice. more of like a bee person i don't really know if butterflies and bees get along but i can only imagine that they probably don't i can't do you have any uh insight <laughs> on the relationship between butterflies and bees the only way to know for sure is to say something but it's hard to say something so but... you could be the direct approach like uh her or you could do the you know take time get to know them do the activities get to know them <clears throat> that might be better to be honest because then like maybe it doesn't work out like relationship wise but like friend wise it might be great yeah yeah you know? and yeah if you def- if you decide that oh you don't feel romantically about this person there's a great chance you can still be great friends i'm going to middle school in august and there's this girl i really really like She's kind of popular. I'm not the only one. I've known her for a year. She knows I like her, and I've flirted successfully in the cla- in the past. This is from a middle schooler. So he's had success flirting in the past, and so he's got years of swag experience. Is the, <laughs> Under his belt. The thing to take away from this. Okay, so she knows that he likes her, but he also says in the email that she's kind of popular. He's not the only one. That likes it. So I guess what he is asking us is, how do how does he stand out above the crowd? How does he get her attention when so many other people desperately crave it? Be creative. And like if you really like this girl, then you really want something from it. Like you'll put like effort into it and like put you into the effort that you put in. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like be creative, but at the same time keep being you. So, like, don't do anything that, like, you don't feel comfortable doing and anything that you think is out of character for you because that's going to give the girl a, a false idea of who you are. Okay. So keep keep a part of yourself in it and expand on that and be creative from that. So I think we have time for one more, and we're going to see if this position is correct. I really like this guy, and he tends to be very snarky to me. As captain of the SS Snark. What? Oh my god! Oh my god! What the heck is going on? What the heck? Are you kidding? He said if I smashed Hedwig, I would have unlimited stories whenever I want. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my god! I'm crying! I'm gonna vomit. 
I'm just shocked right now that that actually took place. Me too. I regret All for unlimited <laughs> stories, which you know he's not going to tell No, he's going to tell me. Look at what I did. If he doesn't tell me after this, <laughs> we're not friends. That was part of it? I wasn't allowed to tell you that I was going to do it. He, like, wanted to see your raw reaction. I hate it. <laughs> oh, my God. Why? Why was that, like, so conniving and, like, know. weird? I don't know. Because he, he's that kind of person. Like, the fact I, that you also took two blows, that saying something The first blow, there. yeah, the first blow didn't, if you notice, it you'll didn't. see on the footage, the first blow did nothing. He was still intact. So all of that, like, the emotions were gone out of me, and then I just had to smash it again. <clears throat> I, I'm, like, out of breath. This is, like, <laughs> all right. I'm, oh, yeah, I'm my gonna God. Go. I'm going to go and uh, sort out my feelings.